Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at dual toning, a picture which is taking two tones and pushing them into the picture. And we're particularly we're going to use the uh, classic colours of teal and orange. So what you typically use for dual toning is opposite pairs. Teal and orange is good because orange you find in sun, sand and skin, and teal you find in sky, sea, and in shadows, and other areas, of course. So let's look further at that. We're going to look, first of all, at how the actual effect that the, the color balance tool has. So first of all, we see up here, we've got midtones, but you can also use shadows and highlights. We'll stick to the midtone for now. And you'd expect that the midtones would be where you've got greys and things like that and in the middles and things. So let's see what happens. So to do a teal, you're effectively you're turning down reds and turning up blues. So because teal is zero red, 100% blue and in the middle for green. So if I turn down this, look at what's happening. You can see there's a bit happening down here, but look, look elsewhere. I move this up and down. You can see within the tinting, there's a little, you know, the shades is moving, but the solid colors don't change at all. all. Right. So we'll also, let's go to view studio and info panel. And we'll put this up here and take a little circle and drop it down into the gray. So normally it starts off one, two, eights because it's gray and it's in the middle. And if we turn this one down here it says it's increasing sign but of course it does that by reducing red but not very much because it's only in the mid, mid, middle and color balance is a kind of subtle tool and likewise if we turn up the blue at the other end we get blue increase so we've got that teal pattern lower red higher blue but it's not nudged it very much which is a bit wishy-washy and elsewhere you can see it appearing a bit in tones and things. If I go to shadows, now if I turn this again the same way, look what's happening here. You're getting more effect. So it's still affecting the mid-tones, the middle here, the middle grey, when I'm using the shadows on this. It's worth noticing. And this way, so again I've pushed the red down further, the blue up further, so you get even more of a teal. And guess what? I go to the highlights and you have the same effect. Pushing the this down, the red goes down even further here. So it's gone now down to 31. And push this up again and this has gone up. So you've now got 31 to 270. Not the full range, but see a lot stronger teal. So you've got to watch out for those combined effects. So it's not, not a clear full separation. So let's do this on here and put in a color balance and let's start off with the shadows and typically for the shadows you're going to put in you look at the darker parts of the picture and typically make them teal so we push this down and see what's happening as it's going down so you can see it's having an effect already and you may think well let's see how far that goes and push this up to balance it so you're not going to get a great deal of tealing in the shadows, but sometimes only a little bit is all you need, just to nudge you this, these up and down. How often you'll just click Preserve Luminosity as well to stop the tones changing too much. Then, Midtones. So Midtones, it depends what you want to do. Sometimes you may want to put in multiple or, um, color balance layers and start masking because sometimes in the middle you want to turn up things skin in particular you typically want to turn up yeah so watch this the skin effect here but as you're doing this as well other things are happening as well because there's a wide range it's also affecting the lighter tones here in the sand so making that a bit more orange and it's brightening up the skin here so it affects all colors of tin uh, or skin uh, in the middle and also in the middle here we've got this red here is getting a bit more orange and 
highlights. So what are the highlights we're going to affect? It's going to be things like the sand in particular here, isn't it? So we want to make that a bit more orange. And this is going to have a much bigger effect as well. So only a smaller tweak like that. So there you go. That's quickly using color balance for this. Normally you might think this is a good one to use, but it turns out it's actually very tricky. I tend not to use it unless I want to have a simple effect like this. So in some pictures, it'll seem to have no effect whatsoever. This one, it has a fair amount because you've got enough of the range to do it in. So there you go. I wouldn't use a color balance, but that shows some of the things to consider when you're using it. Thank you very much for watching.